So? Hi, this is Hey, how are you going today? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing great, I am doing great. We are, it's actually, it's, so for like us being video production, we're very used to the waves of projects coming in and out. Um, so, um, it's, it's been good. It's, it's, you know, it's been a wave that we've been writing for a long time, but we're lucky enough that, uh, we partnered up with some great companies that they've done some commercial spots throughout this whole thing. And, uh, so we, we, we stayed busy. Nice. Yeah. It's funny enough that uh, when I saw your email, uh, I drive past your guys' building pretty much every single day. And when I saw your email, I was like, oh my God, I actually wanted to reach out to you guys a long time ago. That's so funny. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually funny you should mention that because it's kind of the project uh, that we want to do. Uh, we definitely want to, because people, so many people drive by our building and they don't know. Because so we're a really strange thing for like the normal consumer to understand. Like, great weekend to me right there. <laughs> yeah, so that's, um, so we don't have uh, anything, so we have, so background story, sorry, I, didn't, I just jumped right into it, I hope that's cool with you. Oh yeah, I, I like I like getting down to the nitty gritty, so no worries. Okay. Yeah, so we have um, another um, company, um, we operate in West Palm and then in Richmond, Virginia. So they have a production company up there um, who's, you know, young, fresh. And I think kind of when I found you, I was like, this is, this is perfect. And Crystal had recommended you from like Pump House and everything. So um, yeah, we're just trying to, to create, you know, like a 60 second video that we can potentially, you know, down the line, obviously use it through social media channels, but then, you know, if there's opportunity to run a local commercial or to, you know, we're looking in like Hulu, uh, like streaming service, advertising by zip code, that sort of thing. Yep. So, um, we just need something professional. Um, and in the past, we've, you know, done some work with the kids at the kids students, um, and had some good videos produced. But I just feel like it wasn't, it didn't fully embrace like our culture, mm -hmm. uh, or you, you know, it was like a little stiff. Um, so I just want to kind of show. I, I, um, sorry, I've got like a bunch of different things, but, um, yeah, so I would like to try to do something that's, you know, fresh, um, and it looks like you've done some, like, visit, was it Visit Pompano, what did I see on your Oh, uh, it was a uh, Visit Hollywood, Downtown Hollywood. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we definitely want to kind of showcase to, you know, maybe it's Downtown West Palm, some of, like, the iconic things that people will see, uh, and it'll resonate with it, obviously, again, being local. Um, but yeah, I just want something like fresh, fun, um, that is, is truly, you know, we could even just film it in like downtown West Palm or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, we want to incorporate some of our, our 
our local breweries into it too. So, you know, once the beer is out in the wild, as they call it, so whether it's out in accounts, um, we can have, you know, some of those people, you know, raise a, raise a beer or pull a six pack on the shelf. So it's not something that's going to be like necessarily shot in our warehouse. Got There's it. going to be kind of um, different locations to it because it's following, following like a life, uh, the whole life cycle of a beer, if that kind of makes sense. Total sense. Okay. So right now your biggest push for this video is going to be through social media. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And, and I guess the, the big thing with the, with the video, like, uh, why are you guys want to do this now just to really kind of like help revamp and like kind of just get that boost out to like the local breweries you guys work with? Yeah, so that's kind of, um, you know, we allowed, we really took this time, you know, we were fortunate enough we're an essential business, right? So mm -hmm. probably a lot now people are buying beer, you know, not, I don't want to say more than ever, but like, you know, when everything kind of went to shut down, they were wiping out total wine at grocery stores. So it really allowed us to say, you know, ha hey, we've always, you know, we have a crazy portfolio of local breweries. We've always, we've always supported local breweries, but how do we convey that to the consumers? And so a lot of what our own breweries will do is they'll push on their own social media. And like, and a lot of times it's to the tap room, like to the brewery itself. And uh, that's not what we're trying to necessarily do. Basically, like the ultimate goal is to show you know, we want to rebuild the local community, not just our local breweries, um, but like, these restaurants have been closed for two months. Um, and so how do we how do we show that, you know, by supporting a beer that was brewed five miles away at, an, you know, at a bar, restaurant, or, a, you know, a, a convenience store that has been hurting significantly because of this business, you know, that by spending that $10 on that six pack or whatever, you know, $8 of that $10 stays in our local community or, or more. Um, so that's just, we just, we, we kind of were able to look at the business, kind of take a pause, which I feel like you're not always able to do when you're, um, grand, like, you know, doing your everyday business. So during this time, it really kind of allowed us to say, you know, what can we do as a distributor to drive home the local message, not just do a cheap way of promoting our brand, um, but also just, I guess, committing to the local community. Got it. Has, Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I totally, I, I it totally makes sense. I think um, you know, just from what I had looked in your website in the past, I definitely think that you guys really hone in that that you, you guys really are selective about the companies that you guys work with, and mm -hmm. um, and you know, I grew up in a family restaurant, and, and I love working with Pump House because like they're literally I consider them my brothers at this point, but I think yeah. you know. The, the community is such a huge and important thing. And, and I think people, especially in South Florida, are so big into that. Like, you know, if you have the chance of supporting someone local versus someone who's not, it, it's just what we're all about. Yeah, um, exactly. So with this project, um, how are you guys gonna be measuring, like what, how are you guys measuring the success for this? So you said you're gonna, are you gonna, do you guys have like a social media campaign strategy played out? Like what's your goal with distributing the video? Other, you said the Hulu thing. Which with the Hulu, yeah. we're looking at a 15 to 30 second video, right? Right, correct. Yeah, so our thought was to do like a, the full one would be 30 seconds and then if there's a way to cut it down, to you know how like the, yep. an abbreviated version. So, uh, yes, that's kind of, or exactly, that's the goal um, from this. So, right now we just, we, we know we see that there's um, a lot of companies kind of cutting back their advertising costs. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if there's an opportunity to kind of jump on that, like if costs are low because, you know, maybe demand is lower, mm -hmm. um, then we want to be able to kind of jump on that opportunity. But right now we don't have anything high quality. and We don't have a campaign to run. Got it. So I think, you know, we're open to, open to as many channels as possible to kind of drive home this message. But right now we don't have any, like, and I think that's kind of the thing. I work, you know, with out of home too for billboards and that sort of thing. And they're willing to give you a significant price cut, but you know, they need the creative, they need the material like tomorrow to run. So yeah. we just want to, we want to have something ready to go. Um, whether it's Hulu or YouTube or social media, or just running like locally on CBS, something like that. Uh, we just, 
feel like we need to have that campaign ready to press send to um, them so that way we can kind of jump on it. Got it. So in the sense what so from what I understood, a lot of this is going to be, you know, a branding campaign, what, what you guys are doing. Are there any, like, certain, like, metrics or, like, how are you guys going to be measuring the results? Like, how do we know that this is going to be a successful project? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I think, you know, we we monitor kind of our own social media so we can track that engagement. Um, and then we have relationships with, you know, iHeart and some of the other um media channels, I guess, like ESPN, but we, you know, sports aren't really right now a big factor, so I think it'll probably be an ongoing success. You know, we can, can we can monitor the, the social media channels and that sort of thing, but, and obviously, and Hulu, you can see impressions, but uh-huh. I think for us, too, the biggest thing, how we measure success is going to be sales, especially, so if we start seeing an uptick in especially locals, if we start having consumers ask for local, you know, that's, that's how we measure the success. So we can see clicks and we can see, you know, visibility, but to us, ultimately, the, the success is when we start having consumers ask for specific local brands or, you know, demand that there's more local beers in the public shelf or, you know, that sort of thing. That's really the end goal is to get consumers to care about local uh, and not just buy local but prefer local got it and guys especially when it comes to beer yeah i think that uh hones in back to your starting point about like getting the customers to see the impact that the purchases has on the local community um Mm -hmm. just get consumers to care about local that's awesome cool so what's the the timeline for how soon are you guys looking to get production started buttoned up, ready to go to push out on channels, uh, you know, July 1st, as early as that. Mm -hmm. I don't know kind of what your turnaround time for video production is. Um, And I know that this is probably a lot of moving parts because it is like, you know, a lot of, it's not filmed in one exact place. So um, our goal is to have it ready ready to go out on different uh, platforms by July 1st. Got it. Um, what's what's your guys' process? So I'll tell you right now, we can get things done. Like we shot a commercial Saturday. We had the videos ready on Monday for the clients to approve. But oh, wow. the biggest thing is working. I mean, and the reason I ask this is because I know I'm speaking to you and you're the marketing director. Is what's the approval process for you guys usually like? Because that's usually where we get. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I can totally understand. Uh, internally, it is, so I report to the, uh, the president of the company. So it, as long as it's some, it, it shouldn't be, I, I, I don't want to say more than, you know, 48 hours. Okay. Generally, for anything, generally for like big budget things, that sort of thing, those approval processes take a little longer. But uh-huh. anytime I shoot something to my boss, I usually get an answer uh, or, you know, feedback within 24 to 48 hours so got it and i guess from the last question do you guys have a budget set for this um i don't have a a, a budget i think it's just right now we're kind of looking around um so pretty uh pretty open just wanna okay no, so the reason i asked this and so in the sense of like consider it like you know cons- in a sense, think of me at this point as a realtor and I can make a lot of different things for you and I can show a lot of different properties. But, you know, if you're, if I don't want to show you a million dollar house if your budget is 500000 So, like, is there a ballpark within, you know, if I was to propose something to you that what would be the ideal project within, like, and I'm not going to hold you hostage to this, but at least yeah. have an idea of where would this I would land? Say, I would say what we've kind of worked with in the past like the different radio stations uh, or that sort of thing if I just ask I almost ask for like three different packages like a mommy uh, you know a daddy and a baby just kind of maybe like a range of mm-hmm. what that would look like and then we can kind of you know if we don't think we need something from X or we uh, think we you know need to include something else from a different package we can kind of look at it that way so that's generally what we've what we've worked off of versus just budget 
Guys, so are we talking like five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars? Uh, I would try to keep it under five. Okay. And now coordinating with the locations, um, mm -hmm. is there certain locations that you guys like are like essential to the shoot that you guys like, I don't, I don't know how much in the back end have you guys been doing, but like, is there like certain like spots and things that like we need to get these certain things in the video? Yeah, so it'll be like part of it obviously at our warehouse, which we can control uh, that sort of thing. I would just need to make sure but the day of filming, I would coordinate with delivery to make sure that we could have a clear space so there weren't a bunch of trucks in the way or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of our breweries I work with um, on a daily basis. So um, it would just be kind of coordinating with them. Um, I think, you know, we give them a day at a time that we, we're going to be there. And that generally works better than asking them what works. So, um, yeah, so some of our breweries are a must be. Uh, Part for filming, and I, I want to keep it to the Palm Beach. We obviously we deal with breweries all the way from all across the states and the, down to the Keys, but I'm really just limiting to Palm Beach County, so really like New South, Saltwater, maybe like Twisted Trunk or Tequesta, something like that. Only I don't want to do all of them. So, um, and then our warehouse, and then probably like a couple accounts. My thought was just trying to keep it pretty central to what's on. Got it. Uh, breweries. And now, do you guys have, I know we kind of went over a lot of different things. Do you kind of have, like, a, I know you kind of told me a story of what you're trying to tell. Do you have any of this, like, in paper or, or any kind of, like, have you seen any videos or anything like that that you guys are like, oh, yeah. we like the look of this? Yeah. I, I can send you, I was going to send, I haven't done, like, a script or anything yet, um, but I can, you know, work on that. Um, but I can send you the Brewers Association, which is, like, um, they oversee all the breweries, especially independent uh, craft breweries. They did something, an uh, initiative that was called Speak the Field, and they kind of did a similar thing where they uh, went to different breweries and they recited sort of like a one script, but everyone kind of takes turns. Like, you know, like the Visit California commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. So it's kind of similar to that. Um, so I can send you that over so you can picture it that way. And you sort of speak the seal? I guess my last question for you, what's going to be your deciding factor in choosing who you're going to work with? So, I mean, we like, obviously, we like to work local, um, and probably, you know, we want to make sure, I think, you know, I want something fresh, uh, I want something that kind of understands where we're going, and then price will probably ultimately be the, the absolute deciding factor if I had to get. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, so when do you think you can get that kind of script over to me so I can kind of have an idea of, uh, so I can put together a proposal for you? Yeah, so I can work on this script um, sometime tomorrow and send that over to you. I can send you over the video whenever. Um, yeah, that would be great. But I'll probably, yeah. Uh, what is your email? It's probably on your website. Yeah, it's uh, Rodrigo, R-O-D-R-I. G O at Tasca Studios dot com. R O D R I G E. Oh, G O G O. Yeah, Rodrigo. Tasca. Cool. Coming at you. Awesome. Look forward to seeing it. You got it. All right. Well, I will work on getting you something uh, tomorrow. And okay. We'll talk soon. All right. Take care. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye. All right, guys, there you go. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, you know, of course, I had to blur out certain parts of this, but you know, this is just a sales call. I think there was about, you know, 20 minutes long or something like that. Da -da 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 -da. 20 minutes long. So throughout this process here, what I did, I was literally just taking notes 
on Trello about all the different things that she said to have a better idea. Along with that, I ended up adding all of her contact. Oh, I guess I'll show that part. But I ended up adding all of the contact info of her, pretty much the company she works for, um, email address, all of that to my software so I can be able to track her and do all these different things. So hope you guys like this. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.